Hey you guys, it's springtime. Welcome to the Blending with Henry show. My name is Henry. My biggest video ever with 10 recipes and 40 minutes of amazing content. So kick back, unfold your arms, and let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about my Vitamix Complete Kitchen. Actually, I've been chanting about this setup in my last few videos. How excited I am that I can use my Vitamix to assist me with virtually every recipe in the kitchen. I'm introducing new accessories from Vitamix, starting with their stainless steel straw set with angled silicone tips. And their new shaker bottle. It's perfect if you want to take it to the gym or on a hike. And I'm going to show you a great recipe idea using it. And my favorite silicone blender spatula. And I've been using this exact spatula for over three years, you guys. So this is absolutely a must have. And something old, but something new, Vitamix now offers the 20 ounce cup and 8 ounce bowl with blades as a set. And lastly, you guys know I love Blend It Up. Now they're introducing their vegan chocolate protein and their Greens Plus. They've been selling out. Now I had to wait just to get my samples, so I'm excited to show you these amazing new powders. I have a fun food menu planned for you guys filled with delicious recipes and some of them you may have never thought you could use your Vitamix to create. How about golden brown crispy homemade hash browns? I'm going to show you step by step how to make them restaurant style. Whole fruit strawberry margaritas. Make these for your summer barbecues and your guests will keep hounding you for more and they'll never leave. Uh, maybe that's not really a great thing? Okay. <laughs> Herb infused mixed nut butter. My own recipe. It's so good. You guys have got to try this. I'm also going to show you guys multiple ideas for making flour and milling certain grains you may have never thought about. This is not just a strawberry sorbet. It's the most healthy, greens-friendly strawberry sorbet. It's got more greens in it than meets the eye with the same great strawberry flavor. Lime-infused lemonade. Now, this is a non-blended drink made with the Vitamix Air Disc Container. Trust me on this, you guys. It tastes even better than it looks. Plant-based chocolate shake made with vegan chocolate protein. Rich, creamy, and chocolatey. Mouth-watering rosemary garlic mashed potatoes. Made with a Vitamix right inside the cast iron cooking pot. Last but not least, cinnamon applesauce. So easy to make with only three ingredients. Pack it with your lunch, a great snack for your kids, and it's also perfect as an after-dinner refresher. Every single Vitamix container and accessory shown here was used to create all those recipes, including the 64 ounce Vitamix container. So you guys, Vitamix sent me a mystery box filled with some surprisingly cool accessories. Colorful straws that are environmentally friendly, a smoothie shaker cup, and a multi-purpose silicone spatula. This is the 8-piece straw set, and it comes with 6 stainless steel straws with silicone tips and 2 cleaning brushes. And before taking these out of the package, you guys, I was already excited about these because each time I've made a smoothie using my plastic smoothie straws, the straws end up being thrown away. And if I get a bend or a crease in them, they are no longer useful. Here is the Vitamix stainless steel smoothie straw set, and these are my common plastic smoothie straws I've been using in the videos. Now you can tell by the sound of me ruffling them that these are plastic compared to the Vitamix straws that are metal. Comparing the size of the two, you can see that they are nearly the same size drinking tips. So if you're familiar with the straws you get at the smoothie shops, you will have no problem getting used to the Vitamix straws. Now for another comparison, these are standard sized plastic straws used for soft drinks. Now the tips on the Vitamix straws are larger than the standard sized straws. Let me show you. 
So clearly the Vitamix straws are made for smoothies, so I wouldn't recommend using them for soft drinks. So let's check out the straw. The silicone drinking tip is very soft to the touch and flexible, and it pops right off for easy cleaning. Now the tip fits on nice and snug, so you don't have to worry about losing it while on the go or around the house. The stainless steel straw and silicone tip are both dishwasher safe on the top rack. Speaking of cleaning, the package comes with these two cleaning brushes. Now just like the common bottle brush, it pushes right inside the straw to clean any residue. Now you can do the same with the drinking tip. Now I would recommend doing this just before putting it in the dishwasher for ultimate cleaning. Just like having your own toothbrush sitting in the jar in the bathroom that you don't share with anyone. Okay. <laughs> These are perfect for families since they are color coded for up to six people. Next is the Vitamix shaker bottle. Now what's unique about this is that it has a detachable bottom compartment for your healthy snacks to take to the gym. Ah, the infamous vegetables. Now this is the majority of my weekly diet, you guys. I love veggies, especially Brussels sprouts. Now not everybody wants to consume a lot of vegetables, but they want and need greens in their diet. Now there are a few companies making greens powders, but they can be a hit or miss on flavor or how well they mix with liquids. Blended Up got this one right for sure, you guys, because their Greens Plus has been selling out fast. It has 2,500 milligrams of super greens and 425 milligrams of super reds. It's all natural, 100% vegan, gluten-free, and it's sweetened with stevia. Now the mixed berry flavor tastes great, and you'd never know you were drinking greens. It mixes perfectly with juices, smoothies, and even frozen desserts, which I'm going to show you later. It's low on calories, low on sodium, and rich in vitamins. This is the real deal. Now, using the new Vitamix shaker bottle, I'm pouring in 12 ounces of apple juice. Now, you can use any type of juice or even water. Now, I'm adding one scoop of the Blended Up Greens Plus. Now, it comes in a small container, you guys, but you get 35 servings out of it. Okay, I'm going to be attaching the lid. And now I'm going to give it a shake. Okay, <laughs> now that might be a little overkill. This is not the shake weight. Okay. <laughs> now, the Greens Plus mix very well, you guys, with the juice. You know, and I also like the snack compartment at the bottom. Great for almonds and cranberries. Now the lid also has a drinking spout, of course, but what I really like is it snaps very firmly in place. Now, so you don't have to worry about spills if you knock it over while driving. It's BPA free and the entire bottle, including the shaker ball, is dishwasher safe. Now I do have one criticism about this bottle, you guys. It's a bit cloudy. And while this may be common amongst other shaker bottles, it makes it difficult to view the measurement markings. Next is the silicone blender spatula. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you guys, I've been using this awesome spatula for over three years, especially in my videos. Now, this is my green one I've been using to entice your taste buds, steering my creamy nut butter, made in the Vitamix, of course. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> now, I, okay, I have to keep working, okay? <laughs> Now this spatula easily fits all the way down to the bottom of the 64 ounce wide container. It's the same with the 64 ounce tall container. Now you can scoop up nut butters, hummus, and other recipes all the way down to the blades. Now this is also perfect with hot liquids. It's safe for up to 428 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I love this spatula so much you guys. The contour and angle design makes it easy to even scrape nut butters off the walls of the container.
while you guys asked for it and Vitamix delivered. You can now buy the Self Detect 20 ounce blending cup and 8 ounce blending bowl with blades and a starter kit. So instead of having to buy a pair of cups or a pair of bowls in the kit, it now comes with one of each and the blades are interchangeable between both containers. Here's a great suggestion for you guys. These new accessories will make great gifts for someone close to you that has a Vitamix, or this can be a great Vitamix package if you're buying your first Vitamix. You can also create this healthy Vitamix package. The stainless steel straws, the shaker bottle, and the blended up vegan chocolate protein and greens plus powders. They also make great individual gifts as well for a current Vitamix owner. I don't know about you guys, but I love crispy restaurant style hash browns. And we'll be using russet potatoes. You want to remove the skins and cut them in half to fit the Vitamix food processor attachment chute. Okay, with the Vitamix food processor attachment, we're going to use the large shred blade. I'm snapping my lid in place. I'm shredding one half of the potato. Now, if using a smaller potato, you can put in the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how this came out. The shreds of potatoes are perfect. Next, what you want to do is place your potato shreds in a bath of water to remove the starch and to protect them from turning brown. Here's a tip for you guys. Okay, it's a little work. Use a salad spinner to remove the majority of the water from your potato shreds. <laughs> Lay your potato shreds out over a paper towel and place another paper towel on top. Now you want to roll them up in the paper towels and squeeze out any remaining water. You want to be real generous with the oil. It's necessary for crispiness. Now I'm dairy free here, so I'm using a combination of coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil. Together they produce a buttery taste. Now for best results, use a cast iron or stainless steel pan. Now you want to form a large patty. Now my potatoes turned a bit brown due to being out of water too long, but they're fine. Now using a spatula, press the potato patty to keep it firmly together. Now place the lid on. Now this is important as it helps cook the potato all the way through. Don't lift the lid or touch anything for 10 minutes. Now if you did everything right you guys, <laughs> you should have no issues scooping up the hash brown patty to flip it over. Yep, perfectly golden brown and no sticking. Delicious, crispy, restaurant-style hash browns. The Vitamix food processor attachment speeded up the job, so I wouldn't have to hand shred the potatoes. It's happy hour with whole fruit strawberry margaritas. You guys ready? Let's get started. To make the whole fruit strawberry margaritas, we're using the 48 ounce self-detect wet container. So the first ingredient is one whole lime. One eighth of a teaspoon of lime zest. Three ounces of good tequila. Now, if you want a more enjoyable party, you guys, add four ounces or more. <laughs> Two ounces of triple sec. It's an orange liqueur. And you can also use Cointreau. One 
1 4th cup of pure maple syrup. Two cups of whole frozen strawberries. Now if you want a more frozen texture, use two heaping cups as you see here. I'm slowly ramping to the highest speed and blending for one minute. I line the rim of the cocktail glasses with a salt, sugar, lime zest mixture. Now here's the pour. Strawberries, lime, tequila, and orange liqueur. Smells amazing. And the best way to make this is using whole fruit. Now garnish your drinks with lime slices. And you guys, when you serve this to your guests, Garnish your plate with fresh strawberries and lime. It dresses up the experience and gives them an idea of what they're actually drinking. One of the best things you can make with a Vitamix are nut butters, but when you put a spin on it, you can make them a whole lot better. The ingredients are raw mixed nuts, which I've roasted in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes and allow to cool. We also have granulated sugar, kosher salt, cayenne pepper, and mixed fresh herbs of rosemary and thyme leaves. To make the herb infused mixed nut butter, we're using the 48 ounce self detect wet container. So the first ingredient is three cups of the roasted mixed nuts. No extra added oil because the cashews produce plenty for mixed nut butters. Snapping my lid in place. And we're going to use the tamper to help process the mixed nuts. I'm blending on the highest speed. Look how smooth and rich that turned out. It's almost pouring out of the container. <laughs> now we're going to add one half cup of the mixed herbs. One tablespoon of granulated sugar. One half teaspoon of kosher salt. And lastly, one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And once again, we're blending on the highest speed just to mix in the added ingredients. Now, if you want to get those specks of herbs in your nut butter for show, Add a few more extra herbs to your liking. Now this time we're blending just long enough to mix in the herbs but not fully blend them in. Mm -hmm. 
This is so worth the price of admission, you guys. The incredibly delicious aroma of fresh rosemary and thyme infused in warm nut butter. It can't get better than this. One last thing we're going to do is chop up the mixed nuts using the 8 ounce budding bowl. They'll be used for garnishing. Attaching the blades. Now you want to blend only on speed 1 until you reach the desired texture. And there you go. The little specks of herbs in the nut butter sets it apart from the rest. Serve it on crostini or toasted baguette slices and garnish them with the chopped nuts from the 8 ounce blending bowl or top them off with the sprigs of herbs. Often I've been showing you guys what the dry grains container can do. Now aside from making flour, you can mill cinnamon sticks, cardamom and more. Now today I'm going to show you four different grains that you can mill for different recipes. Here I have brown rice. Then I have wheat berries. Roasted sunflower seed kernels. and popcorn kernels, which you can choose to use either white or yellow corn. To meal the grains, we're using the 48 ounce self-detect dry grains container. Now it works differently. The blades actually push the ingredients upwards away from the blades to create a powder. And that's how it makes flour instead of butter. Okay, so my first victim is the popcorn. <laughs> Snapping my lid in place, and we're milling for 40 seconds to a minute on the highest speed. Next is the brown rice, same milling time. Now the wheat berries. And yes, you guys, you can mill sunflower seed kernels. Here are all our milled grains, starting with the rice flour, then the whole wheat flour, our milled sunflower seeds, and my favorite, the cornmeal. Mill these grains fresh, you guys, when you need them. Flour tends to get visitors when it sits too long on the shelf. Now, just some ideas. You can use the rice and whole wheat flour when making bread. You can use the milled sunflower seeds to mix with your cookie dough for added flavor and moistness. Now the cornmeal is ideal for making cornmeal pancakes, a crispy coating for frying fish or crab cakes, as well as dusting your pizza dough before baking. I've been really excited to show you guys this very greens infused strawberry sorbet. Remember I introduced the Greens Plus powder to you earlier? Now instead of just mixing it with plain juice, I'm blending it into the sorbet. To make the Greens infused strawberry sorbet, we're using the 48 ounce stainless steel container. So the first ingredient is two heaping cups of frozen strawberries. One quarter cup of pure maple syrup. Two tablespoons of lemon juice to brighten up the flavor. And
and one scoop of the greens plus powder. Snapping my lid in place. And we're going to use the tamper to help process the ingredients. I'm blending on the highest speed until the sorbet is perfectly churned. Okay, so you can see that it's perfectly churned, and if you can't get the four mounds, no worries, as long as it's frozen solid if you dare to flip it over. <laughs> The best garnish for a strawberry sorbet is fresh strawberries. Add a spoon and there you go. Here's the blended up greens plus powder. Now what's unique about this you guys is the strawberry sorbet tastes exactly the same since the greens plus powder has a mixed berry flavor. You can't even tell by the look of the sorbet that there's any evidence of greens. So if you want to give your kids a healthy frozen treat, they'll think they're getting over. But you know that they are consuming a daily serving of greens. Is there ever a bad time for fresh lemonade? Especially when it's lime infused? Oh yeah, let's make this. To make the lime infused lemonade, we're using the 48 ounce air disc container. So the first ingredient is two cups of filtered water. One fourth cup of pure maple syrup. Now this is three large lemons and two large limes sliced with the seeds removed. One fresh mint leaf. Now it really matters. And two cups of ice. Make sure that the lemon and lime slices are spinning around so the air disc blade will muddle them. Now, if they aren't, then use the tamper to help. I'm slowly increasing to the highest speed and muddling for one minute. Okay, you guys, it's looking good. Let's pour it out. Fresh and delicious bits of pulp. Now, this isn't a smoothie, you guys. This is a non-blended beverage, and that's what's unique about the air disc container. It's so versatile. Wouldn't the yellow Vitamix stainless steel silicone straw go nicely with this? I think so. The lemonade is well infused with a tart flavor. That's because the air disc muddled the oils from the lemon and lime zest. You can make lemonade the standard way, but it takes three times as long to achieve this flavor and it tends to get bitter from the lemon sitting too long in the liquid and the sugar takes longer to mix. Try this once and you won't go back. Is there ever really a bad time for chocolate? I think not, okay? <laughs> now often many think of protein as meats or chicken, which are not vegan of course, and most protein powders are not vegan. Now when you do find vegan protein powders, they're very expensive and not always easy on the stomach. 
The blend of the vegan protein has 20 grams of protein. It's soy and gluten free. It's made up of pea protein isolate, brown rice, and quinoa. And it's loaded with antioxidants and is sweetened with stevia. And yes, I've tried it and yes, I like it, which is why I want to show it to you. To make the vegan chocolate protein shake, we're using the 20 ounce self detect blending cup. And we're going to start off with a whole frozen banana cut in chunks. One cup of almond milk. You can also use coconut milk, cashew milk, or even rice milk. How about that herb infused mixed nut butter we made earlier, right? Now this is about one tablespoon. Now I'm scooping it with my silicone blender spatula. And you guys, don't be afraid to be adventurous with flavors. The herb nut butter goes great with chocolate. Two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. One scoop of the chocolate vegan protein powder. Okay, I'm attaching the blades. And here's a tip for you guys. If you want a more powerful chocolate flavor, add one eighth of a teaspoon of instant coffee. It brings up the chocolate in chocolate. And now ramping up slowly to the highest speed and blending until smooth. Okay, I'm attaching the included lid with drinking spout. And wouldn't this be perfect with the Vitamix stainless steel straw? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't test it, so now, okay. So now we know what straw not to use with this cup, okay. <laughs> This is so rich and chocolatey. The protein mix is very smooth with the almond milk and the herb mixed nut butter. Now you guys, this size glass is perfect with the Vitamix stainless steel straw. And now that the gyms are reopening, you want to grab a tub of this vegan protein. All right, you guys, admit it. Who wasn't waiting for this when they saw my food menu earlier? To make the rosemary garlic mashed potatoes, I'm boiling six large Yukon gold potatoes. You want to boil them for 45 minutes to an hour or until fork tender. When done, remove the skins and give them a rough chop. Now for our good fats. I'm adding one fourth cup of full fat coconut milk. Then one fourth almond milk. Now this will be a dairy free recipe. Now you guys, here's a tip for you. To create a buttery taste, I'm adding one tablespoon of coconut oil and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now when mixed together, they produce a buttery taste. Now I'm adding about one tablespoon of garlic paste. Now I'm adding kosher salt, and you want a salt to taste to your liking. And fresh cracked black pepper. Now again you guys, you want to add an amount to your liking. Now I'm going to turn this into mashed potatoes using the Vitamix Immersion Blender, all in the same cast iron pot. Now I'm starting on low speed you guys, to reduce splatter of the liquid ingredients. Once the liquid ingredients are incorporated, then you can increase the speed. Now I'm adding a handful of roasted garlic cloves. Hey you guys, this is going to be garlic heaven. And now fresh rosemary. Blend these additional ingredients until incorporated. Now of course you guys, you can make mashed potatoes in the vitamins container. 
but you won't be able to control how chunky or smooth your mashed potatoes turn out. Now that's the power and benefits of the Vitamix Immersion Blender. Plus, you can do it all in the same cooking pot. In just a matter of minutes, you have fluffy clouds of delicious rosemary garlic mashed potatoes and it has a nice chunky texture for a really good bite. Doesn't that look good, you guys? And you know what I'm having for dinner tonight. This is one of my favorite side dishes, rosemary garlic mashed potatoes. And it's very creamy and buttery without any dairy. The grand finale, fresh cinnamon applesauce. If you guys are ready, let's do this. To make the cinnamon applesauce, we're using the 64 ounce self-detect wet container. So I have six medium sized Fuji apples sitting in a citrus bath to protect them from browning. So I'm going to place each one of them in the container. Two tablespoons of lemon juice to protect from browning and to brighten up the flavor. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Snapping my lid in place. And we're going to use the tamper to help process the apples. Now this is going to be so fast you guys, so don't blink your eyes. I'm blending on the highest speed. And that's it you guys, let's spoon it up. Now what you're seeing is a darker applesauce. Now it naturally gets a little browner fast, but much of that is the infused cinnamon. This is the easiest, most versatile recipe you can make in the Vitamix. Take a snack pack on the go. It's also one of the most served baby foods, and it's a perfect after-dinner refresher. You guys, Vitamix has done an amazing job bringing more versatility to an already amazing machine. And with this entire package, along with the included 64 ounce container, I have my Vitamix Complete Kitchen to assist in creating the best meals. Vitamix is including my prize recipe, Urban Fused Creamy Sweet Onion Soup, in their 100th anniversary book. I'm so excited and very honored. Now it's sort of a reverse direction of the already famous French onion soup. Now it's not just a creamy version, it's bursting with different flavors and it's dairy free. Now I will be making a video dedicated to it very soon, so stay tuned. And that's my Vitamix Complete Kitchen. Now I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the recipes, and once you try them, I would love to hear back from you. Now if you need my help to create your Vitamix Complete Kitchen, please reach out to me on my website, BlendingWithHenry.com, and click Ask Henry. Alright you guys, thank you! Now please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy my work, and all the Vitamix products shown in the video are listed below with links to order. See you soon.